Uh, Pope Francis, like Pope Benedict and St. John Paul II, have continually said that we should be going out to help people find a relationship with Jesus Christ, not just wait for people to come to us. Here in the diocese, Bishop Van has wanted us to implement the, the vision of the Holy Father. He's worked with the Office of Faith Formation, the Ministry of Priest's Office, because in the parishes too, we felt that if we were to just do what we were doing as our culture has changed, as our diocese has changed, what worked 40 years ago won't work now. The ways in which we communicate are different, so the ways we communicate God's love also has to change. And so through that, we've had the Evangelization Summit, which helped us to have stronger teams that are healthy, that are able to have good conversation, meet uh, regularly, vision, plan, so as our parishes have teams that are healthier and stronger, then we're able to go out. And so we offered a variety of ways, such as we knew Alpha uh, evangelization retreats to parishes, recognizing that each parish is different. What works in one parish may not work in the other parish, but that we should all be doing something to create a process of evangelization in our communities. As we move forward in our strategic planning for the diocese, the topic of evangelization has surfaced again and again and it continues to be a strong focus. Our priest convocation and the evangelization summit last year and the recent work of the strategic planning process have all echoed the importance of this theme. A number of parishes have taken steps to establish a specific evangelization process, and others are working toward that end. Parishes that have had a change in leadership in the past several months will undoubtedly require some time for adjustments, but I expect that they too will be headed in this direction. This is an essential effort that will assist us in responding to the challenges of our day. I know that each parish will go about their work in their own particular way. No parish is exactly like another, but you can be encouraged by knowing that we are all in this together, thinking and planning and working to put the team in place and to go out. One parish will embrace Renew, another Alpha, a third an evangelization retreat. There are several options in this regard, all supporting the mission. St. Justin Martyr has offered Alpha in Spanish and English, and their leaders have stories to share about its impact. Out of the Evangelization Summit, what I brought back with me were tools that I, I never thought of using it and has now made us a, a team. And it has opened my eyes to see that it's no longer a job. It's now a, a, a ministry has brought our staff together. We understand where they're coming from. And there's a relation now that we can work as one. Alpha, it's one of the resources that um, we, we were giving at the Evangelization Summit to work with families and to work with uh, the parish. We get to sh share a meal. After sharing a meal, there's, we have some questions that we talk about. And after those questions, there's a video. The video, it, it, it focuses on one specific uh, question that we might have about our life or about uh, the church. After that, we sit into a small group, about 12 or so, the most, and then we talk about, you know, what do you think about the video? What did you learn about that? And it's, it, it's not about whether we're right or wrong. It's not about a doctrine. It's about sharing. That's why I think Alpha is really important. It just it helps us speak about questions that we don't necessarily ask, but we keep to ourselves. So this program has helped me learn more about my fellow peers and them to know more about myself and how we can work together to grow in this faith. Individual parishes can be supported through the Department of Parish Faith Formation by giving us a call and asking us for consultation or some material resources on various programs. We are here to help. We would be happy to hear from a pastor or a director of faith formation or director of adult faith formation and talk about what are the beginning steps that need to be taken. We understand that each parish is different and has different circumstances and we are prepared to provide resources that fit each situation. Collections are up. Uh, stewardship is up, gifts of talent are up, involvement is up, new ministries are created, vocations are formed. All of this will come if we just continue to stay focused on the fact that if we form disciples, 
those disciples will bring in other disciples and the church will continue to grow.